Hey, Brandon here, and today we're going to look at maybe some not so obvious ways of using Google Keep. And specifically, I'm talking about using templates in Google Keep. Now, if you're a user of Google Keep, you're probably asking yourself, what are you talking about? Google Keep doesn't have templates, and that's true. But I figured out a way through using Make a Copy and some folders that made it a really easy process for me to use templates um, in Google Keep. And if it's useful to you, Great. So, uh, so we'll dive in. So here we are in Google Keep. You'll see on the left hand side, I've got plus templates. There's nothing special about the plus other than it just bumps that uh, to the top of the list. Uh, so if I click on that, this is where I keep my templates. So today we're going to look at one specifically that is the one that I use whenever I'm on like a conference call or some somebody calls me or run run into the hallway and I just need to quickly capture a bunch of stuff about a project so that I can understand kind of where we're going. So uh, that is the department project one here. Um, if I click on that, so one thing, if you didn't know, Google Keep, uh, the notes in them have their own individual URLs. So in this case, I just grabbed that URL, dragged it down to the Chrome browser and was able to uh, just bookmark it. So I can always click on it uh, to be able to open it. And this is really simple. So I have it set up. Um, as the way that I would just start to type and fill it out. Um, but the first thing that I do each time is actually click on make a copy. So essentially that just takes the note, copies it. That makes sense, right? Yeah, okay. Um, so I've got the copy of the note here. I've got, let's just say this is emergency management and this is gonna be a uh, Cottonwood Pass project. Um, and so I've got my title, I can just start typing. So uh, Google Keep also out of the box does not have any kind of rich text formatting. I'm sure that is coming at some point. It's been a long, long time. Googlers, if you're actually watching, would be great to actually to be able to do some basic formatting here. Um, but I use just a simple like markdown language. So I've got the uh, hash for the title. I've got two hashes for each of the different subjects. Really easy visual way of just kind of breaking that up. Uh, and I can use it in other programs with that. Um, so I've got issue, team, timeline, start, due date, current state, future state, where we want to land, uh, the plan on how we're going to get there. So any frameworks or anything like that, uh, any tasks or actions, uh, the resource list comes up during the conversation. And then if I've got the note alive, any updates to it. Um, and so what I usually do is just as a conversation starts, I bring this up on, you know, my phone or on my, uh, you know, on my laptop and start typing. And that way I'm able to at least have a guided kind of series of information that I need to collect that at least will get us started. Um, so once I do that though, uh, I usually work everything out of workspace, so it makes it really easy for me to just copy this to Google Docs whenever it's ready. And this is kind of an important point about how at least I think about Google Keep. Google Keep is a landing point. It's a capture point, right? It's, it's to be able to take voice notes, type notes, uh, photo notes, be able to annotate those photos, just capture whatever it is that's happening that I need to get with the intent of either later that day or at some point in the near uh, future, being able to come back in and just kind of clean up all the notes, you know, put them into drive documents, put them into other workflows or wherever it needs. It's just an interstitial page where I can grab all of that content and then be able to use it elsewhere. And I've found it, it really helps me just kind of have a second brain, um, you know, and the combination of things like being able to do the remind me features, which will send me notifications on the phone. You can do it by location. So if you're showing up at the grocery store or your workplace, um, just a super, super easy way of taking those quick notes. But in this case, I use the template in order to capture it, then put it in Google Workspace. Um, so yeah, I think I'll stop there. All right. I hope that helps. Um, I am also really super curious about how you use it. So if you do have some ideas, throw them down in the comments. I'm always curious to learn how other people are using these tools. All right, later.